everybody. So in this video, we're in Bishopville, South Carolina, once again at Lee State Park. We came to see if there was any Halloween decorations anywhere. There might be, there may not be. Who's gonna know until you see this video? So anyway, if you'd like to watch, it's getting ready to roll. So if you're ready, I'm ready. I think all the trees are ready. So let's go. I like the fancy looking squash there. Let me see if the leaves are changing on the boardwalk yet. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Who knows? I don't think they are. pretty cool.
kind that is. I know this is terribly exciting, but anyway, if you've never walked the boardwalk at Lee State Park, here's just a visual for you. Then you can feel like you walked it. I thought he had some damage though from that um water that came up from that flood from that last hurricane that came through here. All that water. Actually I think it flooded before then. That's as far as you can go. And I just noticed that beautiful tree changing colors up there. Whenever I was doing the opening of the video. So we already know that I saw the Halloween decorations before I said that. <laughs> but anyway, look how pretty that is. Looks very fallish there. I like that. berries wherever they are. So pretty. I did see something on this trail last time we were passing by that I want to see. I've never actually walked this trail before. So, gotta get on this thing and let me walk in the right direction. Looks like little fairy houses are on the trees. Aren't they precious? It's very detailed. 
here we got the skeleton and the bats and my favorite bathroom door decorations again they are hilarious That's funny. Herbivore, 1908 to 1914. Mr. Jones. Long gone. And here lies Mozart decomposing. That's pretty funny. So they got the glow and dark cats again this year. And then they've got the lovely skeletons with the skeleton horse with the camp park. Hold on a second, Mom, so I can get a picture. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video for Lee State Park. As you see, Mom is driving. In my video I just shot earlier today that's already she told out. Me she uh, I could not drive her car until I drove mine. Oh, that's true, she's in her car. So in my previous video that I recorded earlier today that's already out now. I said she had knee replacement surgery three weeks ago today. And it has been three weeks. And she was on a walker. So I get back home from that adventure. Here she is with her walking canes. So thank God that that therapist came to the house and told her to try the canes. And then she was ready to drive. So I told her she wasn't driving my car. She could drive her car first. So we drove over to Lee State Park to see if she would be able to drive. They got to decorate a little bit for Halloween. It looks real nice. They don't have as many decorations as usual for Halloween but it is what it is so anyway we hope you enjoyed and now i know since she can drive again we're gonna be on the road even more because that was a long three weeks so anyway oh wait a minute on the road again <laughs> just can't wait to get all on the road again but y'all would probably never realize that we were even doing anything else because i had filmed a month in advance <laughs> whenever we were on vacation in tennessee because <laughs> i knew what was coming so yeah. She had to she had this um, surgery had scheduled for three months in advance. Knee replacement. Yeah. A robotic knee replacement. So how's the pain been? Let's answer that question for him. Um, I am not gonna answer that and you can it. It's been horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So I don't know if I recommend that surgery for anybody. We're gonna see. She says that she's gonna be running laps around me, which is a good possibility. So it anyway, is, it is. Yep. Because, um, I I had done already ventured out a little bit in the house, a holding on to things, but the therapist that came today, she was the one that started the therapy at the house, and she told me she said. You want to try it with a walking cane? I said, I got two of them in here. I started to say, yeah, and then I got more into my vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, cause I went to all these farm shows and they would give me walking canes and I took them too. She likes a free thing. And oh, you know, you're talking about a walking cane. You never know what's going to need one. You may need it to walk or hike or just plain support. And or just to have it as a weapon, too, if you need it. Yeah, I have used it. We were, <laughs> we were at Hunting Island State Park a few years ago. She heard a rustling through the woods. She whipped that <laughs> stick like she was going to fight somebody. And it was just a deer. <laughs> well, But I know she can move. But I'm just glad that she's driving. That'll make my vacation that's coming up shortly well, a whole lot easier. You got you got a choice. You either get up and move. Or stay down forever. Or stay down forever. 
Yep. I, don't, I didn't like walking with the walker. Yep. She made a miraculous recovery though. I left her this morning. She was sitting in the recliner. She was walking with the walker. I get back home. She's walking with canes and she's ready to drive. So I'm like, let's go. So we did. Well, you know, uh, she, can't, she can't take me to therapy all the time. All I know is um, I you'll have drive. to drive yourself over there. I can drive myself. Yep. So anyway, we'll see you somewhere else. So there's mom. There's the update about the life. And we hope you enjoyed. And, and we'll um, see you somewhere else. And if you by accident found out that I had knee replacement, uh, thank you for your prayers. I've only told a couple of people. I really <laughs> need it. <laughs> so we shall say and farewell. I, and I still need it. You can tell she hasn't talked in about a month on this thing because she's still going. Because the last video was actually recorded with you on um, September 20th, and the day is October 15th whenever we filmed this. So, anyway. And just in case you're wondering, we had asked the doctor before she ever had surgery. She was able to drive within two to four weeks because it was her left knee that was operated on, not her right one, and she drives with her right one. So, just in case there's any questions about that. Well, the doctor told me the other day that if it would have been the right one, she would not have said, I can drive until 12 weeks. Yep. But she said, you don't use your left knee to drive. Well, left leg. So anyway, there she goes. Thank God for that too, because I got a vacation coming up. So now she can drive me across that mountain because I was a little upset about how I was going to get across. I was going to suck it up and do it if I had to, but now we know she can do it. So anyway, we're going to quit rambling. We'll see you somewhere else. So, Bye. And please and subscribe. subscribe.